interesting one because. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How do? You, um. Do you want to just do like? Um. Do you want to keep? And then keep count or something on the hi hat like. It stays in time, like it doesn't go out. Like the. But the the riff isn't the same tone. So like so like just do the let's uh, count in and do the bump bump and we'll I'll, 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 I think after any sort of large, at least personally for the artist, large release, the question of now what sort of always comes into play after the dust has settled. And in this case, I think the goal was just to move forward and try something different, a new direction. We have the uh, Volca bass Whoop! going into the Ampeg 112 cheapo bass amp. We got a Fender Twin, the Fender Twin, my Fender Twin. I use it all the time. And we're gonna make some weird noises with that. <laughs> I think the catch-22 of trying to do new things is while you may be doing music ultimately out of your own passion or for yourself, there's still always the thought in the back of your mind that you don't want to alienate the people who have supported you over the years. And though time marches on You don't forget where you're from Just keep treading on And I keep wearing that crown Being an independent musician who's not really required to follow any kind of a template or blueprint of what someone in the business, I guess, would expect you to do is a blessing. But at the same time, you really have to make sure that you're still focused on ultimately coming up with a cohesive piece of work and not just going so far down the rabbit hole that people start to say, uh, this is just too much. This song is called Chupacabra.
tomorrow Not tonight Turtle power Anytime I start working on a track or on a song, I really try hard not to go in with a preconceived plan of what it should be, and my goal is always just to be open to whatever ends up happening. trying to sound too pretentious maybe which is another pitfall in this medium uh, I think that Broken Mirror is probably the best attempt I've had so far at trying to sort of combine these polar opposite ideas into kind of a cohesive piece <laughs> Thanks a lot. We're Steve Thompson and the Professionals. We love each and every one of you for sticking around. Have a good night. Thank you.